What's up guys? I'm J Dub and today I want to talk to you about this Yeti Rambler. Now, I do want to give you full disclosure. I did not buy this and this was not sent to me. This was actually, I don't know, can you read that? Four years, no recordable injuries at my place of employment. And this was the gift they gave us. And I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this thing. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it. Um, I'm still really not 100% sure. I think it's going to basically go on my boat with us and we're going to use it to carry water with. Um, one of the guys that I work with said, hey, you should review this thing. He said his keeps water for three days. We're going to find out. I'm getting ready to go to work in about an hour. We're going to fill this thing up. It is 83 degrees outside right now in Virginia. So we're going to fill this thing all the way up with ice and then I'm going to fill it up with water. And we're going to set it on my front porch and just see what happens. Um, I will say, quality-wise, man, it's a Yeti. They they do, they make a very nice product. I'm going to say a uh, quarter inch, maybe, double wall thickness. Um, so there's you know the thinness of the metal. And then about basically a quarter inch gap in there for your air pocket. Um, I do like the, the bottoms. I don't know. I don't think I have any other Yeti. Oh, I do actually. I've got this one too that they gave us from the, the Covington Mill. So, yep. I do like the fact that Yeti does their rings on the bottom that aren't painted because, so if you look at the cups that my wife uses all the time, this is a friend of ours makes cups. Um, this was one of the ones he made for her. You can see every time she's dropped it, it's beat it up pretty bad. The Yetis don't do that. Only thing you're going to do is dent it, maybe scratch it, but you're not going to knock the paint off. And it just, I really like how they did that. Um, another really nice fact, this handle is way overbuilt. It looks like three eighths stainless steel rod that they've bent and then flattened the ends out, machined it down. Really heavy duty, very well built handle. This is plastic but it's i don't know if you can hear this it is solid it doesn't seem like there's much air in it it seems like they built it really really well the coolest thing that i like about this your cap's not you're not gonna lose your cap that's that's really nice that's a sweet little touch um, i'm glad that they did that because i remember we were at work talking about it, and everyone kept saying hey you're gonna lose that cap but I don't know if somebody figured it out. That is really nice. I do like that fact. So in general, it's just a really nice little unit. Um, it's not super big. So this is the half gallon size. This is, I think a 20 ounce cup here. Doesn't say, I'm pretty sure it's 20 ounces. So that's about the size comparison different. Not a lot to talk about. It's, it's just, it's a cup. Pretty much, it's just a really big cup. But we're gonna see if it holds ice. Like I said, he said he had his for three days filled up with ice. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, we're gonna be here a couple minutes. All right, so does that count as full for ice? Um, I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and fill this thing up with water now. That'll probably do it, about 35. We'll sit right here and keep an eye on it. There we go, 35 ounces. Man, I measured that just perfect. Hey, I should go buy a lottery ticket. I did not expect that to, I kind of figured I was gonna have to cut that off, but hey, we didn't have to, so that worked out. All right, so here is our cup. It's full. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on it. It is kind of weird to put the lid on because it's so big. Ugh. But that's it. She's full of water. As you can see, it is 83 degrees outside. Now the real question is, do I want it outside in the sun or do I want to be smart about this and stick it in the shade like you normally would? I don't know about you. I'm not normally trying to stick my drinks out in the pure sunlight, but I will stick them in the shade somewhere. So. We have our kitty, cat, you guard this. This 
This will be our Yeti Rambler. We'll be out here. Hopefully by morning, I'll come home. It'll still be here. I doubt it's going anywhere. Uh, I live in a pretty low crime area, so we'll leave that sitting here, and we will see what it looks like tomorrow. And then we'll do another a day three, and then we'll do a our day two, and then we'll do a day three. So 12 hours later, let's look at the Yeti and see what it looks like. You can see we've got a lot of condensation. So that's not looking good, but we'll see what it looks like. Oh, get the lid off. Mm, there we go. I put it on there pretty tight. Wow. Y'all want to see this? Look at that. Just a big block of ice now. That's a. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that impresses me more than I thought it was going to. We're gonna leave it on here. Like I said, we're gonna leave that sitting there. I worked all night, so I'm going in here to take a nap. And uh, I will see you guys, we'll check it before I go back to work this evening and see what it looks like. It's supposed to be, I think, in the 80s again today, so it'll be sitting in direct sunlight here in about an hour. I'll see you guys here in about 12 hours. All right, here is our 24 hour mark. So let's see what we got. You know, we might get three days worth of ice. This little thing might actually get the whole three days. Uh, we'll see, like I said, heading to work. See y'all guys in 12 hours. All right, so we are day two on this adventure and uh, well, let's look at it. Uh, still. It is still a huge chunk of ice in there. Um, I believe it's going to go the full three days easily with no issues at all. Uh, so far, I'm really impressed with this little thing. I'm definitely going to have to find some more uses for it though because it, it does hold ice really well. It's been outside my house now for two days. Uh, well, almost two days. It's been outside my house. This evening when I go back to work, it'll be, you know, 48 hours. I do have it sitting in the shade. Um, I think that's a fair test. And it's been in the upper 80s, no, low 90s. I've got no issue with that, but I'm gonna hit the hay and I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, it is day two. Let's go out here and check this thing. I'm getting ready to head back off to work. So let's see what it looks like. I will say, man, that lid tightens up all over the day because I did not snug it on there that tight. Still got ice in it. Not near as much. Definitely losing a lot of ice, but I'm not snugging this lid on very tight. Like, that's, that's it. That's as tight as I go with it. That's it. All right, off to work. See y'all on the next one. All right, so I'm off today, but it is finally. This will be day three, if I recall. We're gonna check this out. I meant to let y'all check it this morning, but I forgot. I was exhausted, so let's look at it and see what it looks like. Hey, sis, you wanna hold this for me? Yeah. Let's open this up. And let's see, huh? So it looks like three days is gonna get you no ice, but whoo still ice cold so that is impressive i'm not gonna lie so it didn't go the full three days but it did go we'll call it two and a half at least and it's still ice cold I, that's plenty good enough for drinking guys if you want to check one of these things out you can um am i going to recommend you go out and buy one no but if you know it was one is given to you as a gift they're really really nice um, what am I going to use it for? I have no idea. I'll probably live on my boat. Probably take it camping with us as just a way to carry some water. But I don't know. I'm going to use it. Like I said, it was a gift. It was given to me. Um, no one told me to make the video. Like I said, my work gave this to me. But I do like it. And it will hold water and hold ice for several days. So that's that's good to know. Guys, if you like the video, go ahead. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And like always, take someone outdoors. Yeah.